so now I'll make a, um, a staple of all uh, platformer games that is a pickup or collectible I guess so uh, yeah for this I'll just make a fairly abstract uh, looking thing again I'll make it on grid first but then I'll just make it up here and I'll make uh, make that extrude mode again um, turn off the grid but turn on kaleidoscope and maybe just have four and I like to, I like to give it um, put it in stamp mode and get, put it into hard blend and now I can just go like that or just go from the center like that which gives it a cool kind of weird weird looking shape, Give it, shave off the bottom and now it looks kind of like a gem or something now I can delete that original stamp down there um, so let's make this yellow and some glow oh I'm in um, studio lighting so get some glow don't need to cast shadows or anything oh shadows might be useful actually uh, cool so the pickup the most basic uh, part of the pickup is that when you walk into it, it picks it up. So let's uh, set that stuff up. So we'll have a, a central chip over here, and I'll make it super big. I'm making it super big so I can easily like click on it from anywhere in the scene, kind of thing. Um, and we'll want to score this with. Um, no, with a score and we will display it just quickly um, just quickly with a number displayer and you take the current score and plug it into there and now when you play time it shows the current score so um, so that's working now we want to actually pick up the thing so if you add a trigger zone onto here then you can set where this starts from and I'm going to put it around the chest area for reasons that will become clear later uh, and I'll make this small and make the fade off large like that um, so that we can use it for a number of different things depending on how close it is to the center of this trigger zone uh, now we'll have a tag and we'll just call it near Cool. and we'll have this look for the tag called near and then we'll put this tag over here in the actual thing over here so uh, we want a chip for that make the chip and put it next to that and group them and then put the tag in that chip then we can make sure the this tag is kind of in the center of there so that it makes sense the kind of distances using the tag so now we can see uh, for now we'll just make it a different color when we're close enough so let's make it let's go in and make it red okay and we'll plug that into there you can see that, how that affects it. So as we get closer, it becomes more red. But if we're just like here, it's only half red because it's the tag is only half detected, so it's sending out half a signal. Um, so we can. I think this this needs to be a bit bigger actually. Like that, and we can say. Uh, just turn this into like an on-off signal. So put that into a calculator. So if that signal is greater than 0.2, for example, then just power it full on. So let's see if that's uh, the right kind of distance. So we kind of want it to be about here. So let's see what distance that is. So that's sending 0.91. So let's do that.
Cool. Um, so now the it will only turn red when we're right next to it like that. Um, and what we really want to happen is for it to be picked up. Let's just straighten this up. And uh, first of all, destroy it with a destroyer. Uh, now this will uh, won't affect anything because it's not uh, linked linked up yet. But if we link up the microchip to affect that whole group like that, now this destroyer will automatically affect that group. So this at the moment this chip is just always powered, but we want it to be powered only when it's close enough. So let's do that. So when we get closer, oop, it gets destroyed. Um, but we also want to add to the score. So let's add to the score, and we'll add one to the score. Um, so now as we pick it up, the uh, number on the left will go up, like that. Whoa! So it's it's um, hitting us and bouncing us back. So actually, uh, we want to change all those. <laughs> uh, so now I'll click on that and save as new creation. And I'll make it a, uh, there it is, contraption. And call it a pickup. Cool, so now, now that that's a separate creation, we can go here. If we just select that that object only, then we have this edit source. Click on that, and now we're editing that that specific object. So um, yeah, we wanted to make this not collidable, so it doesn't like sh shove us around, and then. In the pause menu, we have return to previous creation, and we can save this. So this makes it really uh, quick to work like this. And now, um, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I know I haven't updated yet. Just bear with me. I'll demonstrate. So now, if I had all these copied around the place, oh. Like that. Three up there. Um, but I've made that change outside, and it's it's not um, changed yet in here. So what I'll do is I'll go to update mode and click on update now, or you can click on auto update, and then every time you um, edit this scene it will check to see if there's a new version and update it for you and let you know. Uh, I tend to just click on that so I know exactly what's going on. Uh, and now it's not got collidable on. And if I, for example, wanted to um, uh, make them all blue or something, then I could go in here and change it to blue and then go back out and then update and now they're all blue thanks for watching if you'd like me to continue making these daily tutorials and helping creators across the internet you can support me through the link in the description thanks for your consideration and I'll see you in the next one.